In Clark County, armed and educating. A group in Vancouver says kids would be safer if their teachers were packing heat. The gun advocates are lobbying the Vancouver School District to get rid of their gun free zone. Coin Local 6 reporter Casey Montoya spoke with some of their members. 20 children killed, and this school building right now stands the same way Sandy Hook did. Bob Larimer is one of many concerned for the safety of school children in a time when mass shootings are too common. No one has the will or the ability to prevent them from committing mayhem on those children in there. That's how it stands now, even after Sandy Hook. You imagine that? Larimer is part of a group lobbying Vancouver Public Schools to do away with their gun free zone. He wants teachers to be given the right to carry concealed weapons on campus. That doesn't mean that, that people are, are being aggressive. It, what it means is there's a lot of parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and uh, people out there who care about those children and grandchildren and nieces and nephews in the schools and who care about wives and husbands who are teachers or administrators or school district secretaries. One, two, three. Supporters say the point of arming teachers is to warn potential mass murderers there is a threat inside. Just last month, State Representative Liz Pike from Camas announced her plans to draft a bill allowing teachers to be armed. Pike's measure would allow teachers to take a week-long training course, then buy guns at their own expense. It seems like um, all too often uh, we find the most vulnerable people in these gun-free zones, um, frankly, being slaughtered. And I'm just, I'm, I, I can't sit idly by and, and let that go un, unchanged. Some opponents say arming teachers won't make schools safer. Some worry teachers' guns could be taken away and possibly used against them. Reporting for you, Casey Montoya, Coin Local 6. Now, the school district would not talk about this issue on camera, but sent a statement from Superintendent Steve Webb saying they spend about $2 million a year paying for security measures and that they must comply with state law, which says that schools are a gun free zone. 